In the vein of the Harry Potter and the Aragon books is an exciting new fantasy adventure series for young adults, The Lost Journals of Ven Polyphene, described as the most important magical journals of all time. The series began with the floating island and continues with the thief queen's daughter. We're here today in an undisclosed location near the dig site where the reclusive documentarian Elizabeth Hayden has been working with the world-renowned archaeological team that found the journals. We invited her here to tell us about them. And what happens when an intrepid hero takes on a secret mission within the walls of the dangerous gated city? Welcome, Elizabeth. Uh, Dr. Hayden? Are you alone? Why all the secrecy? Sorry about that. Ever since the publication of The Floating Island, our dig site has been stalked by shadowy figures. Given the importance of this find, we know that there are nefarious characters out there that would like to get their hands on the rest of the lost journals that we're still looking for. Elizabeth, you're the official translator of the lost journals of Ben Polyphene. What can you tell us about them? Well, they're very, very old, from a time long before our time. Back in the second age of history, when magic was still very much alive in the world, Ven Polyphene traveled much of the unknown and known world, making notes in his journals of the magical sites, mystical places, and mythical beasts he saw there. That's why these journals are important, because they may be a map back in time to where those things could still be found. Who knows? We may find where the last living unicorn in the world still is, or a river of molten gold, or an empty dragon's lair, or the bush that lets berries grow wings on your back. These things all once existed, and they still may. How do you do that? Appear around the room like that. Is that something you learned in the Lost Journals? Maybe. Well, do you suppose you could sit still for a moment? You're making it hard on the cameraman. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> all right, then. Introduce us to the hero, Ven. Ven Polyphene was a young man who was not particularly extraordinary except that he had an insatiable sense of curiosity. He lived long ago, as I said, in the second age of history, back when there were different races, and his particular race was the race of the name. The story is told half in your words and half in the words of Ben. Why did you choose this narrative structure? Oh, well, I didn't choose it. Those pieces that are in Ben's words came right from the dig. Those were the pieces we were able to save of the journals, as are the pictures. Those things that are from my narration, unfortunately, didn't survive being in the ground that long. Tell us about the dragons on the covers of each of the books. Along with the lost journals, we located a box that was sealed in wax and lined in gold. Inside this box was a book of pictures of dragons and dragon scales, nothing more. What's next for Ven? I'm learning myself as I translate each of these books. But it seems to me that the next adventure must involve a dragon's lair, because that's what he wrote on the first page of the third book. Thank you, Elizabeth. And may I say, thank you for sitting still. My pleasure. You'll be whisked away to the magical and exotic world of Ben and his friends when you read The Thief Queen's Daughter.